Hello and uh, welcome. Thank you for taking the time to listen to this presentation. So my name is Mrs Downing um, and I teach psychology, sociology and criminology here at Tonarebar. And in this presentation I'm going to talk to you about sociology, uh, which we offer at AS and A level. There are two of us that deliver the course, so there's both myself and uh, Mrs Cooper. Um, so the first thing that we need to think about is what is sociology? So you can see here I've said that this, it's the study of society in which we live, um, investigates how uh, we are influenced and shaped through being members of groups and organisations. So it's, it's all about how society shapes us and we shape society. So we are interested in the institutions in society like the education system and the family, uh, the criminal justice system and how that influences us and how we impact on, on those systems. So we'll talk about that in a bit more detail in just a moment. Um, something that, that is worth just pointing out, what psychology, uh, sorry, sociology is not. Um, it's not social work because it often gets uh, mixed up with that, although if you want to go into social work, then sociology would be a useful qualification to have. It's not an easy option because quite often people think of it as, as common sense. Um, uh, and we all, to an extent, uh, are armchair sociologists and we have ideas about the world. But sociology is backed up by, by uh, sociological research evidence uh, that, that supports its theories. And that's the, the key difference. So in terms of the course, what you can expect to be covering, um, at AS, we look at how we get our culture in the first place. Um, uh, and uh, families and households uh, and then we in unit one sorry and then in unit two we look at education and research methods and then a2 we focus on crime and deviance and we uh, look at social inequality and the application of those research methods so let's take a look at this in a bit more detail so you have a better understanding of what it is you'd be covering so for AS Unit 1, the first thing we do is, is look at how we acquire our culture in the first place. So it's, it's how your culture is transmitted and how your identity is transmitted in the first place. So how are we socialised into the norms and values of our own culture? Uh, and how do we get our identity and what happens to us if we don't? So if we haven't been socialized, for example, uh, we've got uh, examples that we look at in sociology of uh, children who are feral, who've, who've never had the opportunity to, um, uh, to be socialized and, and as a result are barely human. So it's, it's really interesting to see the impact of not being socialized. And then uh, we also look at the at families and households. So within this topic, we're looking at, at how families have changed over time. And so we have, for example, a much more diverse range of families today compared to, say, 50 years ago. So what demographic changes have, have happened in society that's, that's, that's led to that? Um, so uh, when we talk about demographic changes, we're talking about things like the, the, the rise in divorce rates or the, um, uh, the um, decline in, in uh, birth rates, decline in, in uh, rates of first marriage. So what impact do those demographic changes have on the, the shape of, of the family and the impact on society? Um, we look at inequalities in the family. So inequality is quite a big topic within uh, sociology. So, so, um, so things like domestic abuse, um, uh, power differences in the family, who makes the important decisions, um, uh, the role of domestic labour, the division of labour, who's doing all housework, um, uh, and have those things improved, have those things changed over time uh, so that there is now greater equality in the family compared to before. And then, of course, um, we have to look at all of our sociological theories. What would a Marxist or a feminist or a functionalist have to say about those changes in the family? Um, then in unit two, we look at um, how we conduct research. So the quantitative and qualitative research methods that's undertaken by sociologists in order to gather their data. So how are they going about doing their observations, their, their questionnaires, their interviews uh, in order to gather their information in the first place? And this is really important because um, uh, that feeds into applied research methods that you do at A2. Um, also in unit two then we do the topic of education 
Um, so we look at those sociological theories again, what would a Marxist, a feminist, a functionist say about uh, education and whether there's equality in education. Um, so issues like um, uh, fairness and equity, do we have an education system that means that everyone has a fair chance or are there differences uh, depending on your gender, your ethnicity, your social class in society? Does that limit um, how much uh, education you have and, and your, your uh, chances, your life chances, essentially? Uh, so these are the sorts of issues that, that we uh, look at. And then very quickly, just for just a flavour of what we're doing at A2, so in the second year of the course, we look at a range of things to do with crime and deviance. As you can see, there's just a, a flavour of them on the, on the screen here now for you. Um, and we also look at social inequality in the second year of the course. Um, how do we define equality and uh, poverty and wealth? And um, uh, you know what? What are the issues with um, social inequality in society? Um, who tends to, to to be the winners and losers in in society, and why? And what um, are, what are government policies doing about about that? Um, so you'll notice that the the course itself is very much. It's based on society, and we do um, like our students to, to to like to get involved in discussion and debate about these issues. Um, and we've uh, selected topics to to just to uh, cover on the course that that most of our students would be able to to have some experience of and be able to to uh, bring some discussion to to the table. So, in terms of careers. Then, uh, as you can see, there's a whole range of uh, careers that this could be uh, relevant for. Um, sociology being the study of society, uh, then, then uh, it, almost every aspect of society has got sociological components to it. So, so it's a useful one for a whole range uh, of uh, careers that, that quite often people don't realise. That So we think sociology and often think only social work. Um, uh, but there's a much wider range of careers that, that this is relevant for as well. Now, as it's a new subject, and it's one that most of our students wouldn't have studied at AS, um, we do offer a significant amount of additional support uh, as a department. So uh, we are very, very approachable and uh, very willing to, to offer um, uh, our time. So we give lunchtime surgery sessions, for example. We call it social sciences surgery, and any student um, with any questions or anything they want to go over is welcome to come and 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 have some extra one-to-one -one support during lunchtime uh, sessions um, we've got access to a, a very wide range of uh, resources uh, both myself and mrs cooper have been teaching for um, uh, a long time now and 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 so have a significant uh, range of resources that's that's uh, available for the students uh, as well and we're always willing to to help uh, and listen in terms of frequently asked questions then, um, entry requirements, as per NEA level, it's five GCSEs grade A to C. Um, and we would advise that, that you have a minimum of a B in a literacy rich subject because essay writing is something that we do have to do in uh, sociology. So being able to write extended pieces is, is a, a skill that you, you need to have. Uh, it's assessed using only examinations, so there's two exam papers at the end of AS and there's two further exam papers at the end of A2. Um, we've got uh, the option, obviously, of taking this into higher education um, uh, and uh, applied sociology courses, and it's the grounding for multiple uh, other courses in higher education as well as the careers that I mentioned before. There's no requirement for you to have to have studied GCSE at AS level. Most of our students haven't done so, so there's no um, uh, additional worries about that. Um, and the majority of our students do go on to do very well indeed and, and uh, achieve their target grades um, or uh, higher. So if you're keen to find out more and you want to explore sociology in a bit more detail, there's a, a, a range of activities here that you could have a go at. So, so uh, use the internet and do some, some research. Have we reached gender equality in the family? What are the causes and effects of crime on society? Um, uh, is the British education system equal? So have a look and see if you can um, uh, research these uh, issues for yourself. These are the sorts of questions that we ask as sociologists. 
Um, uh, and uh, I've also put the link there for the WJC uh, website so that you have the option of, of exploring um, uh, the course in a bit more detail by having a look at the specification and uh, exam papers and so on. So thank you very much for your time. Thank you for listening. And our contact details are there if you have any further questions.